Hey everybody, Dr. Joey Kramer at the Upper Cervical Corner here at Hope Upper Cervical Spine Center in South Lake, Texas. Today, the topic I have for you is the 8515 rule. One of the most common questions that we as patients have for somebody that is taking care of us in a health-related manner is doc. Is this going to cure me? We have this idea of, hey, I am going to find that miraculous cure, that pill, that adjustment, that solution that will solve all of my problems, that will give me the ability to do whatever I want, whenever I want, because I finally found what I was looking for. And I have to tell you that we have definitely put the cart before the horse and the situation and our approach to healthcare in the Western society. Because many of us are seeking the answer for treating a symptom. And we have been duped into believing that if that symptom is gone, then we have to be healthy. And if that symptom is present, we have to be sick. So, what I want to strive for today and what I want to help unveil for you is this idea of the 8515 rule. The 8515 rule is going to be something that focuses on 85% doctor responsibility, 15% you responsibility. In my practice, I like to tell patients that if I can do two things right, which is take care of a nervous system to the spot that I can make it function at 100%, as well as restore normal cervical biomechanics and create an optimal environment for the nervous system to thrive in via the upper cervical adjustment, that I will take care of 85% of your issues. Meaning that two things have to occur to allow your body to operate at its very best. Number one, you have to have a functioning nervous system Number two, that can only be achieved with an ideal cervical, upper cervical, I'm sorry, upper cervical biomechanics being restored. If those two things take place and it is warranted with enough time, you will begin to create an environment for your body to be resilient to the day in and day out stressors that we face. However, there is a caveat. That caveat is, but doc... I've gotten into an upper cervical regime and I'm not 100%. Well, that comes into your responsibility. And this is a really loaded piece that we have to talk about because so many people believe that, hey, once you go to a chiropractor, you always go to a chiropractor. But once you go to a dentist, you always go to a dentist. And once you go to the cardiologist, you got to go back once a year. And then your digestive disease consultant, your neurologist, you got to go and see your PCP, your gynecologist. Name any one of those things, etc. So it's not just my profession that you know has a bad rep with having to come back and check in with us. See, the thing is, is that many of us believe that if we got rid of the symptom, we're cured. But that is not true because the 15% can utterly destroy you. And that 15% is very, very simple. I like to think of it with six things. Number one, sleep. First thing that we have to talk about is, are you creating an environment for you to sleep for eight hours a night, every single night. You see, so many of us have this routine where we are good Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday night, we may fall apart. Saturday night, we may fall apart. And Sunday, we may try to recover from Friday and Saturday, but you're gonna be a little wound up, so you might be up all night trying to reestablish that routine, knowing that you're gonna wake up the next morning. So having coming off of a sacrifice that we just made over the last 90 days of this year, I know what it's like to go to bed at 9 o'clock every single night and wake up at 5 every morning. Eight hours, solid sleep. And then I know what happens when you throw that out the door because then you cease to function. You start to have a shorter fuse. Things start to agitate you more. You start to experience this, you know, unsettling unease in your life. And so I'm recognizing that sleep is the number one pillar and it's super important. Number two, financial health. Two of the biggest stressors in life are going to be sleep and finances. Finances, if it falls apart, meaning if you all of a sudden got this wonderful tax credit or this tax bill that just came back and you just go blow it on something and now you're caught in the hole and it causes financial stress 
it is going to subtly eat at your inner autonomic function, causing unrest, causing instability, causing you to fall apart. Number three is gonna be relationships. How do you manage the time spent with your spouse, with your significant other, with your kids, with your work environment, and in your community? If those things are falling apart, it's gonna have an impact on that 15%. Number four is gonna be your spiritual life. If that is under any way, shape, or form, some form of attack, you can expect to be at uh, a state of unease. Number five, I wanted to, I always went to the nervous system, so that was one that I could talk about. But I would say that number five is going to be your exercise. Number five is going to be, I cannot do physical exercise for you. You have to walk. You got to lift weights. You have to squat. You have to move through full ranges of motion in your body because we are designed to move. And number six is going to be your nutrition. You have to fuel the system. If you are fueling your body with pro-inflammatory foods, being omega-6s, being wheat, being anything that is a grain or a sugar or a starch or a carbohydrate, you are favoring an inflammatory response in your body. It is more important for you to go heavier on the protein and fat side of life than it is to touch carbohydrates. And I understand this better having gone through this recently with my own naturopath Having her help me better understand my stress response and how because it is so elevated, I am destroying my ability to properly digest food. Since I followed her recommendations, I am sleeping better. I am actually digesting food properly and I'm losing weight. All three things which many of us aim to do, but few of us can actually achieve because we don't know where to begin. So back to the beginning of what we discussed in today's video. 85% of your health is dictated by one, your cervical biomechanics, and two, the state of your nervous system. If those two things are functioning, free of disease, free of subluxation, free of uh, abnormal spinal mechanics, the other 15% is required by you. And that 15% can be broken down into six topics. The six topics are going to be your ability to sleep, your ability to work out, your ability to eat right, your ability to be spiritually aligned, to be financially stable, and also to make sure that you have enough energy day in and day out because of your financial health. Those, my friends, are the ways that you have to focus on the 15% that will create an environment for you to have optimal health and allow you to keep yourself healthy day in and day out over time. Recognize that if any of those fall apart, you're hosed. Recognize that if you do the 15%, but the 85% is screwed up, you are never going to achieve the results that you desire. So, my challenge to you is this. Number one, make sure your nervous system is functioning. Number two, if it's not functioning, get that fixed. Number three, on the other six pillars, it may take a little bit of time and a little bit of effort, but you need to ask yourself, am I where I want to be? If I'm not where I want to be, what changes do I need to make over the next 90 days? to improve that. And once those changes are made, how do I instill habits to ensure that I follow those changes beyond the 90 days? Because let's be real, if you only do 90 out of 365, you're only a quarter of the way there, right? So if the other three quarters of the time, you're farting around, eating junk, screwing with your money, messing up your relationships, not sleeping, having problems with your social interactions, then you are going to fall apart more likely than not. So when you arrive at my office and you say, Doc, how did I get here? Well, for 20 years, that 15% has been screwed up alongside the 85%. It's going to take a lot of work to get you back to square one, just to normal. And then once we get to normal, it's going to take a lot of work to sustain normal. So actually check your expectations. Evaluate your life. Look at where there could be some loopholes and some, some frustrations and start to attack those vigorously so that you can begin to create habits that manufacture wins, that manufacture a state of health that you desire and deserve in your life. That's today's Upper Cervical Corner, the 8515 rule.